thousands of years all together in continuously because when this earth you know became cold it shrunk when it shrunk there were mountains there were you know uh, up and downs you know there were low regions and high regions then you know when rain came now there were the oceans so at that time it was all ocean all water so actually this this world for this world you know the the uh, government of allah subhanahu wa taala so to say that of this universal government it was on water but i can't say that this is actually what is meant by these words here but uh, this is what you know it has come to my mind wa kana ashu wal alma li yablu wa kum ayyukum ahsanu amala then you know life began and then you know humans and mankind were created and what for created li yablu wa kum ayyukum ahsanu amala so that he may try you and test you which one of you is better in his deeds this is the same ayah as we find in surah al-mulk khalaq al-mauta wal hayata li yablu wa kum ayyukum ahsanu amala he created life and death and so, so that this worldly life becomes for you a period of testing in the same way li yablu wa kum ayyukum ahsanu amala in you he has created you here in this world this worldly life is meant for, to be a period of testing qul zume hasti se tu ibrahiman de habab is zia khane mein tera imtihan hai zindagi this life is actually a period of testing and trial wala in qulta innakum mabusun min ba'd al maut and if you say you will be resurrected and raised after your death la yaqulun alladhina kafaru in hadha illa sahru mubin these unbelievers will surely say and it is nothing but a magic or a sorcery while an akharna anu azaba ila ummatin maduda and if we postpone and delay for them the chastisement for a time which is already fixed maduda it is already fixed la yaqulun ma yahbisu they will surely say what has what is preventing it to come they were making haste why don't you bring that that chastisement we have been hearing you know from you for 10 long years that azab will come and chastisement and torment will come but what is holding it back ma yahbisu ala yawma tayatihim la sabatu fa anhum behold when it will come to them it will not be able to be turned away from them wa haqa bihim ma kanu bihi astahfiun and they will be encircled by that on which they were mocking and about which they were joking wala ilal aqlu insana minna rahmatan summa nadanaha min innahu la yawsun kafur now these two conditions extreme conditions for man for common men usually is the case with men and if we make a man taste from our mercy we have given him wealth and health and everything so our mercy is there he is tasting life and all the good things of life summa nazana min and then we withdraw these things from him innahu la yawsun kafur he becomes absolutely disappointed this despair and ungrateful he says never i saw never any good thing in life oh allah has never given me anything he became so ungrateful wala nadaknahu nama balad ra wasat ho and if we give him the taste of our mercy and our you know blessings after you know some hurting had come to him something which was unpleasant to to la yaqulanna zahaba sayyiat wa anni and then he will say definitely say well, all evils have gone from me innahu la farihun fakhur then he becomes overjoyed farah i told you this word is used in the quran not in a good sense farah overjoyed and fakhur boastful you know because everything which is coming to us in this world is for testing if something unpleasant it is also for testing whether we we are we persevere or not we have we show patience patience or not if something good has come whether we are grateful or not we become overjoyed you know and that also shows you know the the shallowness of our personality so actually we should have something in between in all the cases illa allazina sabaru but this is not the case of those who have patience illa allazina sabaru wa amilus salihat except those who have patience and perseverance and they could do good deeds ulaika lahum maghfiratun wa ajrun kabeer and for them there will be the forgiving pardoning and a very great reward 
and your chest is shrinking on it and yaqulu that they are saying law law unzila alayhi kanzul why has not been a treasure sent down on him he says i am the representative of allah the master of all the worlds wouldn't he give him a treasure wealth we saw him all the life toiling in his childhood even as you know early adolescence he was working as a laborer then he was working as a merchant and he claims to be the representative of allah the ambassador of allah on earth so how come would it allah give him the wealth and riches how ja ma hu malak and if he is really a messenger of allah so angels could have be accompanying him you know shouting to people oh this is messenger of allah you must believe in him wallahu ala kulli shay'in waqil and allah is a guardian over everything Now, because these things were coming to him repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly, people were saying these things, you know. And you know, years and had passed after years. So maybe that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also felt somewhat, you know, grieved at it. And we find it in the whole ayahs of Allah. But Allah na lamu anna hu yazi kusadro ka bima yakulun. But they are saying, you know, your chest shrinks over it due to grief and sorrow. So perhaps. but i don't think you know this is directed towards those people who are pressurizing him you are pressurizing him so that he should give up some of the do those things which have been revealed to him but you know uh, apparently it is directed to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but actually it is meant for those who are pressurizing him falal laka tarikum ba'da ma yuha ilayka wa dha'iqum bihi sadruka yaqulu laula unzila alayhi لولا انزل عليه كنز لو جاء ما هو ملك انما انت نذير او محمد يو ار ناثينج بت اي وارنر والله على كل شيء وكيل ان شاء الله هو از ذا جارديان اوفر ايفري ثينج ام يقولون افترى ار دي سينج ذات هي هاز كومبوزد ات هي هاز فورد ات هي هاز يو نو كونكوكتد اول ذس قل فاتوا بعشر صبر مثله ذس از ذا انترنسيك proof and evidence that this surah was revealed before surah yunus because you know this argument you know it to it started from the whole of quran we find in surah bani israil qul laini istama'atil insu wal jinnu ala yatu bi misli hadal quran la yatuna bi mislihi walau kana ba'dhum li ba'dhin zahira tell them if all humans all jinns could join together 